Hey everyone, Michigan1777 here. So we just got some news. Normally I don't cover video games specifically, but uh, I'm going to be doing this one because, well, I'm a Battlefield fan. I'm a big, I, I've always enjoyed Battlefield games. But it looks like DICE is going to be canceling any sort of plans after June for Battlefield 5. And as a Battlefield 5 player, this is very irritating and disappointing. Um, no new content after June. Uh, they basically just said that they're going to have a, a map drop, um, an anti-cheat update, and some other small updates here and there. And then after that, they have no plans for the game. Honestly, very disappointed. Um... I mean, it's going to be over a year until the next Battlefield game, and we're not getting any more content for this one. I mean, I'm wondering if they're working on something else, maybe another, bat, like, a remaster for, like, a Battlefield 3, or maybe an update for Battlefield 4 that would bring it maybe up to the caliber of Battlefield 1 and 5. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's just kind of frustrating, you know? We're paying for a, a product. Um, it's promising live service. They go through, they make so many mistakes... The PR at the beginning was a joke. There's no historical relevancy at all to this game. It doesn't feel like a World War II game. Then they finally get it in place. They make, you know, the Pacific updates and everything else and screw it up with the TTK changes. I mean, it's just thing after thing after thing that they keep messing up. And I think at some point the executives over at DICE or EA was just like, you know, we're, we're not doing this anymore. It's not worth our time. It's not worth the money. And as a Battlefield player, this can be obviously very frustrating. Um, what do I think they're going to be doing from here? Um, obviously, I think they're going to be working on Battlefield 6. Uh, that's the, the primary goal. And I'm wondering, too, if... So, basically, since Battlefront came into play, um, that's been their more popular franchise between Battlefield and Battlefront. Um, EA is making more money off of Battlefront 2, and that's just how it is. So, their primary focus is that. So, I'm wondering if... For the next-gen consoles, I'm wondering if uh, Sony and Microsoft sent them official PlayStation 5 and Xbox One or Xbox Series X dev kits that are completely finalized, and now they're going to be focusing on building maybe Frostbite 4 or a new engine altogether for this next Battlefield game. Um, if that's the case, I mean, it makes sense why they need to pull resources because obviously they're splitting it between two games until um, until the EA Star Wars license goes away. So if they develop the engine now to cut their losses from Battlefield 5 and then build a new engine, and then while they're doing that, developing Battlefield 6, they could do that. Um, they might be making a Battlefront 3, some other Star Wars game. I mean, it could be anything. We don't know. Um, if it is the case and they're building a new engine for next gen, I'm excited, but I'm still frustrated because this is going to be over a year that we're not going to have any Battlefield data or Battlefield games. And I like Battlefield. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll still be playing Battlefield 5. Um, I might go back to Battlefield 1. I can't I can't play Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation 4. It's a joke. Um, the controls and all that are just oof. If you don't have a field of view slider in your game and you don't have the ability to adjust your joystick sensitivity or your joystick um, dead zones and all that like they do in Battlefield 1 and 5, I can't play it. It just it feels too clunky. Um, and slow, and it never got a pro patch, so a game looks like a potato. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a fun game, but I can't do it. But, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, most of the time I don't cover this, but I felt it was necessary because it's a game I like. But, anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you all later. Maybe if I get some people in the comments, we could talk about that. But either way, frustrating nonetheless. But, I'll talk to you all later. See you later.